So word on the street is that you'd like to use Zoom to provide a little synchronous instruction while also recording that call to provide an asynchronous lesson for your students who weren't able to be there. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to need a few things set up on our teacher workstation to get going. First, let's make sure that our document camera is on and we have one of those new snazzy webcams hooked up. Yes, we're going to need two cameras for this. Now, follow this link to download the Loom desktop app. We will use this program to record our Zoom meeting. You will not use Zoom's built-in recording feature since this will always record the faces of everyone in your meeting. Now let's follow this link to get the updated software for your document camera. After you've installed those programs, let's get ready to Zoom and record your meeting. So let's get started by launching Zoom and start a meeting. Hello! I'm using the new webcams that we were given, but just so you know, in the lower left of your screen, you can choose whether to use your document camera or to use that camera. All right, it appears my students have joined me, so I'm going to do a couple of things to get ready to record my lesson. First thing I'm going to do is share my screen. I'll get this pop up and I'm going to choose screen two because that will share my entire desktop. You'll only have one option since you have one monitor. Click share. And the nice thing is when I choose to share my screen, you can see of course that the students' faces have been put into this tiny area over here on the right side of the screen. Now, next thing, I'm going to start Loom. The first time Loom launches, you'll be asked to sign in. The reason is because when you make this recording, it's going to save it to the cloud. You're going to sign in with Google to log in with your APS account. Now check this out. When Loom started, it automatically detected my other camera, in this case my document camera, and started that and put that picture in this little circle-y inset thing in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Pretty neat. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is select an area of my screen that I want to record. Guess what I'm going to leave out? I'm going to leave out my students' faces from Zoom. So, in Loom, I'm going to select Custom Size. You'll only have one option here, so I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to drag and select this area of my screen, intentionally leaving out where you would see my students' faces. So I've got that area selected. I'll let go of my mouse. And you can see that my students are going to be able to see me in this recorded video because Loom puts that little inset down here. Pretty neat. I'll click Start Recording. I get the countdown. And the recording has begun. Now the next thing you're going to want to keep in mind is whatever you want to screen share, for example, a presentation or a website, you're going to have to resize that to fit into the recorded area of the screen. That way when you record your video, you'll make sure that your students are going to see everything that you want them to see there. So at this point, I'm ready to start my lesson. I can continue to monitor my students in Zoom. I can scroll through these different pages in my presentation. I can show them a website if I want to. If I want to have a conversation that I don't want recorded. I can pause my recording over here and I can continue my recording when I'm ready to start again. And here's also another cool thing. Let's say that I want to teach at my board. I want to demonstrate something. So I can come down to this little picture down here and you'll notice I have these little icons that will pop up if I hover over it. I can make my picture a little bigger or I can make it full screen, which means I could go to my whiteboard, I could instruct students, I could come back, hover over here, and go back to one of those smaller pictures. So now that I'm done with my lesson, I'm going to come over here and click the stop button to finish my recording. What that does is automatically upload this to a website. I could copy this URL and share it in my Google Classroom, or if you have students that don't have access to the internet, I can download this file and I can put this MP4 that it creates in my remote continuous learning folder and my students will be able to open that and watch that on pretty much any device. 
The big thing to remember, we did this recording completely in Loom, and we didn't use any of the recording features in Zoom. So I'm hoping that you can see by using Loom, you can record your synchronous lesson in Zoom while also creating a video for your asynchronous lesson. Pretty sweet, you have to admit.